we try to record this one okay okay so this is the new chapter uh, after we have a public holiday last week uh, due to the holiday uh, also so shall we start uh? shall we start so today we will enter the new chapter sustainable energy management so as I mentioned just now from the previous uh, session sustainable energy is that the idea of try to maintain the improvement that we are conduct earlier uh, in terms of the energy consumption in terms of the process time taken or in terms of whichever that we improve uh, specifically for, uh, related to the energy and we try to maintain so i would say the easiest way to mention that sustain uh, or the layman term is the try to maintain right try to maintain the good things or the good practice that we conducted previously uh, to ensure that it can be last long for, 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 for whatever time that we can do for the better way. Okay. So it's covered all the aspects as mentioned this now. Energy consumption, organization and involved in all the mission or equipment that consume energy but also look for the best operation from the operator. So from time to time uh, you need to do some sort of investigation some sort of the analysis based on the available data or you need to buy the maybe the tools or equipment that you can gain the data so yet you can interpret or analysis the data and to justify that have a, another better way to consume your energy so that you can manage to produce such a good practice for the goods of your company or your organization or else you may go for the running loss or maybe your your revenue or your profit uh, seems like the small margin is it you are having the good analysis in terms of the energy management uh, incur to the uh, high overhead which is affect your profit uh, let's say you're in the company let's say you manage to investigate or get to the analysis you can reduce the overhead cost by reducing the energy consumption with the same output or operation so that you actually increase uh, the profit uh, to your company which leads uh, to the maybe you earn the bonus or promotion or something uh, for your own good for your company or organization good okay to set up effective energy management your company has to start from top to bottom top to bottom is that uh, top means that the, the the top management and bottom is the workers or operator meaning that the the idea to sustain the energy management uh, need i would say need a blast from the top management so that uh, people uh, under the top management uh, know what is the mission or vision of the top management uh, try to implement on the ground okay or else it will be might some conflict uh, due to the not same uh, philosophy of energy management which is lead uh, to the hair wire of the system which obtain uh, less impact of the outcome company structure and policy that support the energy management activity are most important components of successful energy management of course okay and company structure and policy so that's why when we talk about the structure and policy it will deal with the top management uh, decision okay uh, what is the kind of policy okay? what is the structure mission structure means that uh, maybe they put the dedicated person who in charge related to the energy management perhaps or maybe uh, each department have their own respective person to report all the energy report or energy result or energy finding or energy activity that will assist to reduce the operational cost for dedicated department okay? apart from that engineer who fit into company structure will be one who drive the mechanism to get the best result with good company structure and policy the energy manager will be able to achieve his or her energy management goal. okay so so that's the very straightforward eh? with good company structure and policy energy manager okay energy manager normally they will appoint um, based on the uh, certain competency that been obtained 
by that particular person. Normally, they will go for certain process or training that entitle him to obtain the certification. And by having that certification, uh, they will able to appoint as a uh, as a energy manager. Okay, so welcome, lady. Okay, next, um, sustainable energy management system need full support from all level, of course. Uh, staff and organization, the principle of the system very much to focus on how to give the support from both organization and staff. So, like Sir mentioned just now, um, the top management will set all the policy, all the structure, everything, but then how to deliver, how to obtain data, how, who, who is the person who in charge for that specific processes to be report, the finding, the outcome, the data gain from the experiment, or data gain from the works or operation, uh, is the team, uh, which are the level, which is maybe the intermediate level or the bottom level for that particular uh, department. So they are interlinked each other uh, because uh, they, they are the one who do the operational. So they know uh, detail uh, about the operational. Maybe they can have or they give you some of the crucial input on uh, how to achieve the objective in terms of the processes, perhaps, in terms of the material, in terms of the energy consumption that leads uh, to the saving uh, in whichever aspect. Okay, so that's why the support from all levels is a very crucial because they need to become uh, one uh, good structure uh, to obtain a good result for the energy consumption exercises. A good system has to comply with the organization uh, able to raise self awareness. Okay, self awareness means that uh, everybody try to concern with the same goals, which is need to let's say uh, reduce the energy consumption. So everybody will talk about that from the low level until the up level. Okay, from the top level until the bottom level, and vice versa. So that all the spirit will be gained as a part of the awareness, so that we can go for the same goal to achieve that. Okay, normally, normally they will try to enhance or promote this kind of awareness by putting some of the reward at the end of the achievement. Let's say, for example, the top management decide, let's say this or certain department who can achieve uh, maybe 20% uh, of reduction of the energy consumption uh, will get, let's say, uh, bonus or let's say they get some profit in terms of the money, in terms of the vacation or in terms of the buying lunch or dinner, something like that. So by having that kind of motivation, so the awareness come across uh, to the staff so that we try to get a better environment in terms of the achieve the goal or the mission. Okay, develop organization and staff knowledge. Okay, so this one uh, will be conducted by the, normally in, by the engineer at a particular company. Uh, to give the motivation, to give the information related to the to the activity, to the bottom out, to the staff operation or operator. Support and improvement process uh, able to integrate with standard working procedure or policy system in the organization. Okay. Yet the benefit of sustainable energy management system, it will assist of the company setting up systematic energy costs. Okay. So after you obtain what is the best practice uh, to run the company with the minimum cost, you try to implement it as a part of your procedure so that uh, you can have the setting up of the systematic energy cost management to achieve the energy cost saving. Okay. Yet, you also obtain the reducing operation and maintenance cost, uh, increase staff awareness uh, from energy conservation and waste management, you always minimize waste minimization. Develop organization, okay, setting up energy plan and target, setting up the MNV procedure. Anyone know what is the MNV? MNV. Where the MNV? Okay, one. 
So what is the M and V? This one. M verification. Uh, M is monitoring, V verification, monitoring and verification. Thank you. So, so that's the thing. Meaning that uh, some of the organization do not have any device. They just they just go for the operation. Okay. If they have the machine that have also the data that can be monitor or verify, that's good. But certain of the uh, certain of the machine or process. They just go dedicated to produce the product, which is regardless of the maybe the storage data system and everything. So that is a difficult for the engineer to, to get the maybe the data, the trend uh, from each processes. So that's why uh, when they go for the energy management system, they will need to consider the MNV procedure so that they can utilize the MNV procedure to be part of the analysis and yet some of the MNV equipment uh, is portable. Uh, portable means that you can let's say you complete this kind of project for the project let's say project A for this machine one so you can use the same MNV equipment uh, for the machine two or project two so that's why you need to establish your MNV system so that you do not waste your money or investment by having too much uh, MNV system which is uh, will bear you the cost so try to optimize by having let's say only one MNV equipment but then you can apply to the other machine so that you can uh, get the benefit of the maximum potential okay so what is the chat? Oh, not measurement as idea. Uh, uh, monitoring. 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 Depends on the system. Okay, preparing energy uh, system. Okay, so by having all the, the data, everything, easier for the company organization to prepare the energy report. Because you already have all the data before improvement, data actual, data after improvement. So by having all the data that to prove to your management, you should invest this kind of facility. So that's why uh, we have the advantages to prepare the energy report. Supporting other quality system, uh, ISO 40,000, capital management, TTM, C. Okay. So, Let's say your organization go for this kind of system, uh, standard system, which is ISO 40,000, total quality measurement, or TQM, or TPM, total productive maintenance. Okay, so by having this kind of monitoring system or the energy management system, it is easy to you to answer or to comply some of the requirement uh, in the standard uh, to be to be reported to the professional body or standard. Okay, without sustainable energy management system, the machine will not be able to control and maintain the survey result. Uh, yes, because after you put your effort uh, by producing the data before the improvement, and then maybe some of the period uh, to investigate the, the problem or to monitor the data for the real actual condition, and then to get the result after a certain time of the process, which is maybe takes two or three, two, three months. And yet, uh, if you are not trying to sustain or try to standardize all the procedure based on your finding, so yet the problem will occur again uh, because they do not establish a proper standard of the improvement work. So that's why after you obtain the formula, uh, to reduce the uh, energy consumption or something. So monitor for a certain period of time. And when you are confirmed, that's the proven activity that we need to perform during your processes. 
so that you try to make it as a part of your standard or procedure and by having that kind of approach you can maintain or sustain uh, the the saving activity that have been investigated earlier okay okay so maybe this the maybe the simple uh, simple work out activity let's say previously they obtain the cost the fluctuate up and down okay okay by 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 having the better system maybe they can try to maintain the uh, this one okay uh, improvement okay but let's say they manage to not to be the standard or something like that maybe we will try to undergo uh, running losses okay running losses or maybe this one okay maybe this one during the project okay expected up and down but if you not do the improvement they will go down okay and we try to maintain it one uh, at least it's still in the part of the good percentage of the uh, benefit and the cost cycle and the conservation program without sustainable system scenario b and the cost of the conservation without sustainable energy system okay. so that's why we need to go for the sustainable energy system uh, just to ensure that all the improvement that have been done uh, can be in place which is to avoid any reoccur and get uh, losses uh, to your particular organization okay so this is the sustainable energy management roadmap so we have the three okay we have uh, a few steps to to do the sustainable energy management roadmap firstly evaluation Okay, the the energy management metric uh, or the organization or structure. Okay. Uh, and then uh, organization preparation uh, in the green color. Uh, energy policy. Okay, you need to perform your energy policy. You need to perform energy policy means that uh, you want to establish uh, what? A green material usage. Uh, up to 30 percent let's say uh, or you want to save cost from uh, per year five percent okay so that's your maybe your energy policy for that particular department or company and yet to achieve that policy you intended to so you form the energy committee uh, specifically to achieve the energy policy you are being declared and then uh, try to detail in terms of the setup of the company uh, component okay em refer to the energy management em energy management and of course you also need to conduct awareness training because we know that this energy management system or sustainable energy management need to be participate by all level so there's not any one main show or only certain department it include uh, all the level from the organization and then by having all the criteria you can obtain uh, energy management goal standard or emgs but for only one star one over three star okay they say if you are comply your company or comply this this um, energy policy available and this committee available set up the em component the management component available and conduct the awareness training is available they are performed uh, in your organization you can be awarded uh, energy management goal standard by the professional body okay uh, one star rating one over three star rating okay uh, from amas and then uh, you go for the implementation of the energy conservation measure uh, you conduct the detailed energy audit select energy target and plan set up the uh, sustainable team and technical training and by having and comply this one 
you obtain a uh, two star rating over three uh, energy management gold standard with two star okay with two star okay and then you go for the system integration uh, uh, perform the accreditation scheme integrate uh, to the iso or tpm and then procedure training you secure the three star emgs uh, energy management goal standard okay so depends on your the target on your company so which one they are looking for they say the aim for the energy management goal standard emgs three star you need to comply all the requirement from the op op organization preparation implementation and also the system integration okay so all these things uh, energy management goal standard uh, need to be reported to the st what is the st anyone what is the st I know what to try. What's the what is the ST? ST refer to that uh Suruhan Jaya Tenaga. Okay. Uh, energy commissioning in Bahasa. Uh, sorry, in, in English, energy commissioning. Uh, energy commissioner. Energy commissioning. Okay. Energy commissioner for Suruhan Jaya Tenaga. Alright. Okay, uh G, G okay. Uh ST uh equal to the EEC, Energy Commissioner. Okay, okay so this is the evaluation of uh, energy management system. Uh, so it covers six elements, of course, energy policy that is mentioned just now, energy team, okay, motivation, I'm sorry, motivation and training practice, information system, marketing, investment, criteria for energy uh, management, project okay so evaluation of energy management status cover six element so you can go to assess this kind of element uh, to be applied in your organization to ensure that you can cover or obtain the emgs scoring star organization preparation okay to understand the current status of organization so the energy manager will be made recommendation to the all element of the energy management system the task consists of define an energy policy okay? set up energy management identify energy accounting etc okay? so by right normally they will go this one by the top management participation which is need to address the team or form of uh, energy management okay? set up the overall energy index okay appropriate energy index okay and then control parameter uh, using energy index or scatter diagram or person technique okay so guideline conduct awareness so you need to prepare all this all those um, consideration uh, to, to, to ensure that they are preparing towards the energy management scoring for the EMGS um, targeted by the Surajaya Tenaga or by the Energy Commissioner. Okay, so implementation of the energy conservation measures, okay, conduct energy audit, preliminary or detailed audit, sell ECMS that have been identified in energy audit, set up sustainable improvement team, implement ECM, select budget, budget and implementation, conduct technical training for sustainable system integration okay so the last step for me to get energy conservation practice to working procedure for the organization so that continuous improvement will be achieved okay 
So there are five tasks uh, for the stage. Set up the MNV procedure, monitoring and verification procedure. Identify the audit internal or external audit system, the independent verification and when the result or identify other community system that energy conservation practice can be integrated. Set up standard game procedure for the conservation. Set up the post and audit evaluation plan. On the system planning to make our staff understand post audit the procedure and evaluation. Okay, okay guys, uh, before we go to this part, uh, differentiate and role of energy manager, you have any idea uh, what is the advantages uh, if the certain organization obtain a good star rating uh, for their EMGS scoring? Any idea? Let's say, um, let's say G, you have, you have a company uh, and your company obtain uh, two EMGS. But let's say uh, Zahidi have the company as well, which is running same with your industry, uh, obtain uh, three EMGS. So what do you think the, the reflect um, by the others? related to the case of different star rating according to the EMGS uh, requirement. Any idea? If you want to share, if you want to, to put your opinion on that. Okay, another one. Okay, guys. Good impression, trust each customer. Okay, good. That is the one of the I would say the concept. Because um, it will reflect those uh, industry uh, to mention that they are ready for the good exercise or good management system. Okay, it will give a good impression to the others. It will good. We have the better trust from the customer because you already declared you will fulfill all the exercise related to the energy, which is you are supporting all the spirit related to the saving the energy conservation so that it gives you a better option for the customer to choose you uh, is the selected company to be awarded perhaps or to be recognized uh, the leader of that particular product uh, so so that is the this might be influenced to the customer okay okay thank you for the response uh nazmi okay thank you for the response nazmi so definition and role of the energy manager. Okay, so what's that? So we will try to stop more or less. Um, I'm not sure how long it takes. So we try to stop this one. We try to check this number of slides. Um, I'm not sure how long the slide. Okay, 45, and now we are in the C15. I think we just go uh, uh, session by session. Okay, we go session by session. Uh, we try to stop somewhere in maybe 6, 6, 6, yeah, maybe. That depends uh, how how it works uh, for the entire session. Okay, defining the role of energy manager. Um, basically, uh, the role of energy manager 
can be stand alone. We need that we appointed the person to become only as a role of energy manager. But certain company might be appointed with the current position. For example, let's say that particular person is the in charge of the let's say um, facility manager in the department. For example, so he also can be appointed by the company uh, as an energy manager as well. Or some of the company uh, they appointed the the head of department from the engineering plant to become the energy manager. So it depends. It can be standalone, dedicated post or role of the energy manager, or maybe can be existing position plus with the energy manager. But of course, when you have or hold this kind of the task, you have a I would say the better pay compared to the others because uh, energy manager uh, is a huge task that you need to perform, you need to undergo because you will relate uh, to the entire activity in the company or organization. Um, yeah, and also, uh, you know, uh, I mean, there's not any all person can become the energy manager uh, because the energy manager will be appointed uh, by uh, by the examination or the certification from the Suru Jaya Tenaga or Energy Commissioner. So that that's why uh, certain of the company uh, giving extra token of appreciation or allowances those who are appointed as the energy manager. Okay, uh, so then you can have a uh, extra pay uh, from your company because you are entitled for the position or qualify the position of the energy manager. So guys, let's say you have the opportunity in your company, you offer your future to, to go the training related to the energy manager, etc. I try to get the possibility or chances because it will give you a uh, benefit uh, in terms of the knowledge, in terms of the qualification, and yet you can ask for the better offer perhaps uh, because you have the knowledge and let's say you want to go another company you still bring your knowledge in front of the energy manager as well as your uh, your your certification or your competency okay so if let's say you are completion your study and you have the opportunity to go the training related to the energy manager just go for for take the challenge because normally, if you go by the company, the company will support you. Okay, will just support you, bear the cost, everything. Uh, and normally, the cost slightly high expenses. Uh, in the range of um, maybe uh, five to six thousand ringgit per head per per, per person. Uh, G uh, in 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 Yemen, uh, five thousand ringgit equivalent to what? What what is your currency? Yeah. Five thousand ringgit. Roughly. Um. I'm not so sure because uh, of the war, the currency come down. Changes. <laughs> yeah. But, but then, uh, okay, approximately, uh, uh, you are calling your your currency in a, uh, what is the, any any specific uh, term? Is it dollar or ring uh, or real? Yeah, yeah. Real, yeah. still real. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Same like Saudi, Saudi, Marshall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <But> I, <laughs> okay, okay. Then, then I, can, I can imagine the conversion, okay. So yeah. basically, okay, thank you, Ji. Uh, so basically, uh, if in real, um, now I'm not mistaken, it's a quite, uh, maybe I'll try to convert this one. Eh? Real, real. Um, uh, money exchanger, money exchanger, converter from the sharing gate to real, 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 real. real. Yeah, I'm going to change. 
Yaman Riyal. Okay, Riyal, Yaman Riyal. Let's say 5,000 ringgit. Okay, uh, G, 5,000 ringgit Malaysia equivalent to the 300,000 Riyal. So means that is the fees that Malaysia need undergo for the certification of the uh, as an energy manager. Okay, so by investing this kind of amount of money and you obtain uh, after you undergo all the examination, your report and evaluated by the expert and panel, everything. So you get the certification you, which you can use. Uh, whichever company in Malaysia uh, so that you can ask for the better offer uh, to be paid at that particular company because you have the extra knowledge with the certification and the competency level. Okay, so so that, that's the idea uh, why we try to have this one. But the good things is like you are not getting the things for that specific company. You can bring this kind of complication for the other company if you are uh, need to move on to the other company by having the better offer so there's nothing to lose but what i'm trying to say let's say the company or after you graduated the company uh, let's say ask you to go for this kind of training just go for it because they will pay all the costs and everything expenses everything and yet uh, you gain all the benefit in terms of the knowledge in terms of the expenses in terms of the experience okay so that from time to time you will try to develop yourself better in such of the energy manager exercises uh, and of course we will give you a better offer for the next time around if you want to go for the same same industry with a different company okay okay G, uh, don't forget try to check the energy manager at yaman if available <laughs> energy manager For your information, guys, uh, for your information, uh, for now, they still not impose or not, not make it mandatory, but I've been heard from time to time, uh, it should be at least one energy manager should be in place at one organization or company. Okay. So for now, not, not yet, not be imposed yet, not be illegal yet, but I heard maybe in the future, uh, but I'm not sure whether with the next next two years or next three years or next five years or maybe next ten years. I'm not sure, but I, I've been heard uh, they try to impose at least one energy manager for each company or organization, which is I was thinking a better of job opportunity for those who have the certification uh, from the energy commissioner or as a energy manager. Uh, okay, so yeah, uh, G, maybe you can try to impose or try to uh, suggest uh, to your maybe your your country that kind of approach as well because yet the role of the energy manager is a very crucial to have a very good energy management yet to produce the better energy consumption to increase the profit for each organization. Okay, G. Okay, so you as an embassy from here uh, with the knowledge of energy management. Okay, the uh, share and role of energy manager. Okay, uh, it's a quite challenging but still manageable lah, in terms of the role of energy manager. The energy manager is the person who have been given, okay, or been given, given authority by the top management to plan, lead, manage, coordinate, monitor, evaluate, implementation, sustainable energy management within the organization. So meaning that almost everything related to the energy management being covered by energy manager. Okay. Because he, he been authorized by the top management, okay, by your boss to plan, to lead, to manage, to coordinate, to monitor, to evaluate all related to this energy you will be covered within your organization. Okay, so it seems like you are the, the key person uh, to, to customize the energy in your company or organization. Okay. So, so that's the powerful of the energy manager role. 
that you have the power to to do all those things. But yet, the spirit is very basic to ensure we conserve or we use uh, only the optimum energy to produce the output or product. As simple as that. But the role is a quite challenging. Okay. Sustainable energy manager interrelates with the several department. Okay. And yet, you also can cross can cross the organization within the organization, the human resource purchasing, production, quality. So whatever that involves with the energy, you as a role of the energy manager can penetrate whichever division, whichever department, because you have been authorized by your top management to gain or to obtain the reliable input or data to be analyzed, to be, to be, to be conducted as a part of the program. So, so that's why you can cross all the department or the section. To report directly to the top management okay so you also have the authority to report directly to the top management and cooperate with other concerned party or matter related to sustainable energy management okay? so that's the powerful of the role of energy manager okay so that's why they pick another normally they pick for another uh fees eh? for another salary or allowances for the energy manager beside the basic or existing post if you a role of energy manager, top management, so to ensure responsibility will be single most important individual driving energy management. And you may be one of the high level management, okay, reporting directly to the top management, okay. So that's the energy manager role, okay. So this is the thing that you need to know as well related to the structure or organization related to the energy manager, okay. So Structure A, function of the energy manager can be assigned to a dedicated person as a one dependent position by as an energy manager. Like I mentioned just now, we can put uh, one dedicated person uh, which is standalone, do not related to the other division. Or structure B, function of energy manager can alternatively be assigned to existing position. Uh, let's say he is the plan manager. Uh, and also he cover for the energy manager which is uh, have uh, two posts okay which is uh, to pay like uh, to, to better pay uh. and the strategy uh, energy manager could be the business owner number one one of the top activity of appointed manager representative in any case energy manager must be able to assess and have a total backing from the management okay so this is the thing. okay so this is the diagram of the energy manager uh, structure MD, uh, manager director, managing director. Okay, so let's say the director have the top plan manager, marketing manager, finance manager, HR manager, and they have also the dedicated energy manager. Oh, sorry, dedicated energy manager over here. Okay, so that's is the such number one. Number two, uh, they have the HR manager, finance manager, marketing manager, uh, plan manager, as well as act energy manager okay meaning that the plant manager uh, have another role uh, become the energy manager they combine the things and not necessarily the plant manager let's say you can merge ourselves let's say plant manager is that alone marketing manager is alone uh, finance manager is that alone maybe the hr manager as energy manager as well so it depends how your organization or your managing director uh, or your top management want to decide the structure of the present of the energy manager. Either it need to be embed as a plan manager or embed with the marketing manager, so it depends. Okay. Not necessarily plan manager. So guys, uh, do you think in your time, uh, which structure do I use? Structure A, structure B or structure C in your time? Just based on your video. The knowledge in terms of the time, is that?
Sorry, B. B. I'll try to go to the chat. Uh, oh, Zahidi A. Uh, sorry, Zahidi B. G, oh, G is A. Uh, G is uh, selecting A. Nazimi is B. B A B E F B A and B B and B so C okay so from A and B so actually we have the structure of for U temp we go for the structure uh, B and uh, U temp okay uh, the energy manager uh, also have another post uh, in in PKA PKA means that P K A pusat kelestarian alam sekitar or energy sustainable university uh, department uh, kind of so in that particular organization they have the staff who work um, or as a post of energy coordinator as well as the energy manager okay so in UTEM we are using the structure B uh, to work to um, to appoint the energy manager. Okay, thank you for your response, guys. Okay. So I think yeah, let me check. We try to check. Okay. Too much. Okay, okay, five. Okay. I think okay, well, we try to to complete this this slide, huh? This slide just to complete this slide. Okay, possibility of the energy manager. Uh, can you guys mention uh, in the chatting room, uh, chatting box? Uh, what you are thinking of the responsible of the energy manager? Maybe we can have uh, is, uh, maybe one each, uh, maybe one each, maybe G give one, one answer, uh, uh, Nazmi one answer, Zahidi one answer, Z one answer. Okay. Okay. Manage the energy usage of the company. Okay, it's a very general. Eh? Manage the energy usage of the company. Okay. Maybe another one from Nazmi or from G. Monitoring energy consumption. Okay, okay. Make sure there's no waste on energy that we on company. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, responsible of uh, reporting annual target. Oh, okay, good. Uh, okay, good. Reporting the annual target forward. So maybe we can see what's the listing answer. Then try to match your answer accordingly. Okay. Uh, try to see. Okay. Successful uh, list uh, and rough energy manager. Management tools continue to promote sustainable within the organization necessary to data and control it with systematic business approach. There are six pillars, eh? six pillars. Defining energy management uh, policy, getting commitment, planning and using public uh, objective and target settings, system audit control and monitor. Okay. So this is the thing. Um, so the energy manager is the person who drives the implementation and ensure a logical and coherent link between the six pillars. Six pillars is fine. Eh? Pillar one until pillar C. Uh, what is the mean of the pillar? Pillar. What is the mean of the pillar? Uh, is that? What is the meaning of the pillar? 
pillar 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 bukan kanti pillar pillar tu ada apa sebab ada pillar um tunggak otras ah uh, tunggak otras uh, kind of ah uh, pillar okay so energy manager uh, a rule <laughs> okay no no rule uh, a pillar uh, tonggak or teras okay uh, energy manager one two three four five six uh, include the, these six pillars and then all the pillars need to be controlled and monitor and yet continue improvement sustainability improve profitability okay so this is the basic concept of the responsible of energy manager need to be covered uh, to ensure that they are running the program successfully but yet if you are notice whichever activity from the pillar need to be controlled and monitored right so that's the meaning of this thing okay that to be okay for so this thing and yet continuous improvement sustainable and profitability okay many manager organization find that their energy management program gives momentum and focus to the initial effort and activities keeping the sense of direction can be difficult without an integrated approach to define the effective policy to be successful the duty and policy of the different department within the person must be defined in accordance with the overall organization and the policy so that, that's the challenge of the energy manager because they say in the company we have uh let's say uh, five department so of course five department have the different set of objective so the energy manager need to ensure that each department uh able to achieve all the objective which the objective been set by the dedicated department which is the nature of the work should be different for example let's say the hr uh they have the concern of the energy consumption maybe due to the printing due to the uh, due to the 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 photocopy machine okay in terms of the what in terms of the of the resource of the paper something like that but others department let's say for the quality uh, they go for the others concern which is energy manager need to able to cope all the new information new new term or new or vast knowledge in terms of the company itself to ensure that they can assist or monitor it clearly and help to able to support uh, for each department in terms of the suggestion or improvement targeted or else uh, it will be difficult to execute the program because the energy manager as well do not clear uh, what is the definition what is the problem or what is the thing that we try to investigate to improve the energy okay so so that's the challenge become the energy manager because we need to cover all the knowledge from each department which is uh, some of the part is technical and some of the part is non technical okay energy manager should read uh, consensus among the concerned part, uh, parties for preparing investment policy the policy then be presented and submitted to the top management as review and approval the energy manager will ensure the energy policy activity are effectively communicated from with the organization okay so this one is the pillar number one uh, pillar number two okay the energy manager has to make sure the whole organization is taking the sustainable energy management program seriously in this in this respect the actual and visible commitment to the energy policy from the top management, senior manager and manager will be vital. Okay, energy manager shall make all the concerned parties realize the commitment which significantly benefit to the organization, will be consistent with the strategic business or service delivery goods. Okay, so so this is the thing. Okay, getting commitment. Okay, pillar number two, commitment from the chairman, uh, from the all level. I would say all level in your company to ensure that you can obtain all the desired data or figure uh, easily or if you want to assess that particular department easily by having the commitment from all level at that particular department okay so can be a, approach depends 
on your strength or your your how do you want to conduct the session either one to one discussion or by information campaign group discussion training etc okay so the energy measure shall demonstrate the benefit of sustainable energy management so that by having the promoting the advantages maybe the all level we will try to support because they very clear what is the benefit by having the good exercise of the promoting uh, energy consumption okay next then energy manager shall coordinate each part of organization to achieve its own objective okay so this one is pillar number three planning and organization objective and target setting okay so you can try to set the target should be very clear which is can be measured so that they can appreciate uh, all the data that are being approached for example the clear objective seems like to reduce the consumption of the electricity of the department a from 50 percent to 30 percent uh, sorry uh, yeah to reduce okay uh, so uh, it's a very clear setting so that they can measure okay 50 percent so existing is what existing is 50 uh, percent try to reduce the percent okay so you need to very clear on the objective it should be need to uh, can be measured can be measured means that you can do your exercise related to the mnv monitoring and verification to justify the existing uh, data before the improvement activity and then after you perform all the suggested improvement activity then you monitor what is the result at the end of the session so that you can compare or you can evaluate or you can determine the improvement from what percentage become what percentage okay so you need to very clear uh, based on the fact and figure uh, to mention the the result in terms of the objective setting okay okay so this one is a very straightforward energy measure will be regularly monitored uh, regularly monitor sometimes they go for the very manual but some of the system they will go for the apps uh, iot something like that they can trigger based on their monitoring uh, panel or on their phone right uh, just to monitor the system implemented accordingly uh, with the system integrated okay uh, okay so this one is about, okay implementation action plan okay so this one uh, you need to the thing you want to achieve your objective so this is the place meaning that uh, let's say you want to improve your electricity electricity consumption okay from 50 to 30 percent to reduce okay so implemented action plan is the what is the step or methodology uh, you need to be done to ensure that you obtain the targeted setup okay by your objective so that's why you need to very careful by your setting your objective because it will lead to the approach how you try to solve or achieve the objective okay so product system audit okay so after you complete all the audit everything so all the works everything they say your your improvement your suggested improvement and everything so you need to ensure it been developed by the standard okay uh, so maybe we take some time uh, to establish the method or the procedure but then after it's proven it's a uh, good to have a kind of approach or standard or, or the method so you can establish by conducting the system audit by checking all the things like uh, based on the regulation based on the physical management uh, physical assessment sorry uh, secondly certain standards such as law and regulation policy statement and everything it should be that they have addressed all the setup they have been imposed uh, from the standard uh, by the legal by the policy okay the engineer will be respond to gather relevant information feedback from audit activity okay. so this one is Number five, conducting system audit. Okay, so uh, you are, after you do all the system improvement, so you need to monitor the system audit. Okay, so just to check, is that follow the method or step that you have been proposed? Okay, 
And last but not least, uh, control and monitoring. So after you impose all the method, everything, so you need to try to control and monitor by having the procedure, maybe, of course, with the data so that you can ensure that you are your improvement work been been conducted or performed accordingly uh, as suggested to ensure that you are following the good practice in terms of the uh, process or in terms of the uh, material in terms of the producing the production okay so, so, so. once the continuous and regular implementation of the system audit is in place the energy management system is self sustainable energy management leads to the reduced energy costs directly improve the profitability of the organization okay so after you manage to standardize all the works which is you think been proven as a part of the improvement activity so by technically uh, they will try to maintain the approach and at the same goes it will continuous continuous running as a part of the improvement or profitable activity okay so in the organization So now we end of page 40. Okay, another five slides. So we try to complete this one. There we start, we start this session. Okay, for the uh, recommend code of practice of for energy manager. Uh, what is the meaning of the code of practice? Anyone can 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 share with us what's the meaning of the code of practice? Code of practice, anyone? Um, I would say the, the, the legal way, uh, the, the legal way, uh, the legal way that energy manager should be in act. Okay. So the recommended code of practice for energy manager is a statement that each energy manager shall follow. So this is the by act, uh, by act, energy manager shall lead and drive the implementation of energy management, formulate and energy, key commitment from top management to engineer, supervise and preparation of departmental action. So this is the put of practice uh, as a energy manager. Coordinate, supervise, create system, establish, active, identify opportunity, select supplier on affair. Okay. So this is the part of the code of practice as an energy manager. And of course, beside that, at all time, as an energy manager, take the consideration uh, result to the society environment concern, okay? act with a high moral, the consideration of the others, what potential conflict, commission to open and transparent, act with the fairness and integrity, follow his organization rules confidently, Okay, so so that's the things are related uh, to the uh, code of practice related to the energy manager. So by having that, we are end of the chapter two. So guys, uh, any question before we end the session? So I think I already give you the slide. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's like code of ethics for energy management. Uh, no. Uh, then what is the code of ethics of energy manager? It means that. Or, or it's like uh, the task should be implemented if you are appointed as an energy manager. Uh, must be appointed by the law. By the law means that uh, it been written in the act, the responsible of the energy manager. Uh, so you need to fulfill all the tasks or or by the act claiming so that 
it will be clearly demonstrate the vast of the responsibility and the huge of the task with the pointed as an energy manager. Okay, so it's a quite challenging to become an energy manager and of course uh, have a good pay as well uh, as an energy manager. Okay, energy manager. Uh, it depends on how big your company is. Uh. Okay, normally easily uh, it will give you different from the others if you have this post, maybe in the range of up to anyone, any idea? The, the different energy, if you have the energy manager post in your company, let's say we are go for the structure B, okay, structure B, which is your plan manager, uh, plus uh, you also uh, is a energy manager. Uh, so, do you think how much different compared to the others uh, department manager? Okay. Okay. What to try the different salary? If you are appointed as a energy manager at a particular company, you know what to try. So please try to take the opportunity if you have been appointed as an energy manager, because besides it will give you knowledge or concern about the energy, but you have also the opportunity to improve yourself and also take a better offer when you go to the company because all the company require energy manager. It just the matter how much they afford to pay you based on your experience, based on your knowledge and skill to manage the thing. There's no any, I would say, disadvantage of having the certification related to the energy manager. Okay, you know what? Want to try? The the different salary of the energy manager compared to the existing manager uh, salary. Uh, yes, energy manager salary. Any idea? Three thousand, okay. Three thousand above three thousand, okay. Anyone else? Fresh graduate, are <laughs> normally, uh, normally no fresh graduate for energy manager because normally energy manager it will come uh, to the to the environment that you need to go for the examination and reports and the reports normally come from your existing organization or company which is they say they say the the report ask you to do the evaluation of your utilization of your electricity at your company. So, of course, you need, after your graduation, you need to enter, you, you, you go for your work. So, and then during the work, you go for the examination of the energy manager, for example, and then the assessment or the, the question related uh, to the existing or current position or current company you have been appointed. So, normally, they will go that way. But it depends uh, to the company. If you, they want to appoint the fresh graduate as an energy manager, it should be no problem. It's just the matter of is that uh, capable enough the fresh graduate to go for the higher level in terms of the communicate with the manager or the top management level or to cross from the department to other department to investigate the thing 
So normally they will go for the senior person in the company, so that they have the better networking in terms of the department, in terms of the each department, in terms of the level, top level and the low level of the staff. Okay, is that is that clear, uh, Zaidi? I think in Malaysia to five and below five. Okay, okay. So okay, we just go straight on. Okay, let's say let's say the post that we has as the energy manager. Uh, it's a stand alone right? because we have the structure A, B, three, kan? Uh, so, okay, let's say we go for the structure A, which is stand alone. So, normally, it will can, it can be up uh, from 3,000 to 5,000. Okay. Uh, if it alone. Okay. And it depends on the how big the company is. They say the company is uh, quite a high consumption of the electricity or energy. It can be up from that five thousand to the ten thousand. Okay, uh, the one is a separate uh, energy management because you are specifically on the particular of meter. But let's say you are in the structure B. Structure B means that you have the position of the let's say you are manager of the human resource, for example, and then you also appointed as a energy management energy manager. Normally, in that sense of case. Uh, your utilization of the energy at the particular company is not that much. Okay, so your your paid salary uh, plus your allowances as the energy manager uh, should be in the range uh, from one thousand to three thousand. Meaning that let's say your position of the uh, HR, let's say is manager HR, let's say uh, five thousand. And then plus, plus another one to three thousand based on your experience, based on the company utilization of the energy, one to three thousand uh, as a appointed uh, energy manager as well. So it depends. So that, that this is the current situation in Malaysia if you have the certification uh, of the energy manager. Energy manager. <laughs> um, politician. Uh, so if you want to become a politician, become the politician with the energy energy manager certification. Uh, is that? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. So that you can become the Ministry of uh, Energy. <laughs> then you can <laughs> then you can appreciate those who have the certification. But it depends, guys. It depends on the the company let so mention just now they say you have become the energy manager for the power plant for example power plant company so of course the risk will be different it can be up higher than that i'm saying just now is the thing that company running with the with not with the no energy not is a energy producer uh, i would say that okay they say you go for the energy process, they say for the uh, for the let's say for oil and gas industry or power plant and station. Okay, so the the allowances or the salary dedicated for the energy uh, can be increased uh, maybe double or triple because you are solely play with the energy instead of the other company, they will go for their production in terms of the producing the things, everything, product. But yet you need to investigate the, the energy consumption. But for the oil and gas or the power plant industry, they are directly dedicated to produce all the energy. So it's a very crucial to have the energy manager. Of course, they will be have the better offer in terms of the salary or the allowances related to the uh, energy management uh, as the energy manager. Okay, guys. Uh, nothing to us uh, for today's chapter. Chapter two before we end the session. I hope you get some sort of the idea what is the sustainable energy management. Uh, I hope you can get a better or clear understanding related the energy manager role. I hope you can have a better understanding in terms of the um, responsibility of the energy manager. Uh, of course, as a structure of the energy manager. Okay, so maybe for G, uh, maybe you can have some sort of the idea what is the current uh, 
allowances uh, uh, as a energy manager in Malaysia. I'm not sure whether that in Yemen, they also start to enforce the concerning of the energy manager position. Okay. I'm not sure about that. But I hope for today's session, you guys can take some sort of the input and perhaps uh, to gain a better understanding and knowledge related to the energy uh, as part of the energy management, sustainable energy management, and also as the energy manager. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, any question? No? Yes? Uh, okay, so okay, clear. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Uh, that's be okay. Is ID okay? So, uh, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay, then we 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 close the session. One more. Okay, okay, doctor. Okay, clear. Okay, clear. Or is that? <laughs> I do. Is that? Okay, thank you, everybody. So, Hamila. Uh,